everyone and welcome to another practice round powered by Terry Miller, Miller the disc golf guy and fueled by <laughs> Skybreed Discs. Um, I'm a lone hot goose today. Uh, Madison couldn't make it, but I have a special guest. Let's take a gander over here. Uh, 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 it's my goose yeah. call. Oh All right, it's aggressive. And uh, yeah, we'll just be playing Idlewild today. Um, we'll show you the FPO and the MPO tee pads. Sounds good. Have fun. Oh. <laughs> Hole one is a par four, 638 feet. It's probably one of the most squirrable holes out here. Everybody's looking to birdie it. If you're a guy, you're probably looking to eagle it. Um, there is OB on the left side um, that kind of curls towards the basket at the end. So high. So high. I feel like I do much. Hole two, 601 feet. This is all about finding the landing zone. I really like the forehand play before you have to go across the water. So if you end up in a bad spot, you kind of need to lay up short and really just attack for par. Um, water plays short and left of the basket with a slope leading to that water. So it's really important you control the angle of your disc on that approach. Clean. Woo! Oh, yeah. You dapped it. That's perfect. You did it. I want to try the backhand with a hatchet turnover. Hit the hatchet. The hatchet. Yeah. Oh, oh you so died. Oh so no. Close. How does it feel to be dead? No laughing? Ooh, it's pretty good. I wouldn't question that. Oh well, you haven't seen what happened. <laughs> Oh God! Thick bushes. Just cut that one out. <laughs> cut it. Here to the water on the left. Yeah, you have a lot more space than you think. Made it. I know. I just pushed the water left yesterday, so now I'm scared. Gotta have a little faith. No, oh, that's 
That's not enough babe. Dang it. I have a little warden. Oh, that's so wide. Filter. I mean, I guess. Long foot. Uh, pooper. Did it sit? Yep. Bam. <gasps> Go. Get you some. Hole three is 407 feet for both MPO and FPO. It is downhill, so it's reachable by everybody. There is an OB Creek right in the landing zone in front of the pin. So you'll see some layups probably from the FPO, but I think the majority of people will go for it. And there's OB on the left side as well. Uh, I'm gonna throw like a Heiser flippy sword and try to get a putt. Get the sword. Get the sword. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Maybe. I think it's bucket. Ooh, safe. Got a putt. Oh, that's like the two best times that I've ever thrown. I think it's too bad. I go. I go with a felon forehand, where I'm really trying to work it and let it play back to the basket. Yeah. I. That's what I do. There we go. Oh, you gotta have legs, baby, run! Oh, that's so in the open. <laughs> sad, cue sad music. Dang it! Is that good? Take the, take the good as they come. Oh, get it up, bud. Somebody throwing? Did somebody throw? I think he's trying to pass us. Made one. Ready? Also, don't throw at us. Pull, like, pull, pull. Just, <laughs> just watch. <laughs> Hole four, 432. It's a left to right moving shot. Lots of OB. You're gonna see a lot of players actually lay up here. The backhand is super treacherous because it fades right down towards the OB. And the sidearm, it's a really big sidearm or if you're a lefty hyzer, you're really having to power it and trust it over the OB the whole time. I myself am going to be ripping out a Raider forehand, really trying to play a little bit of flex to where it works, but it's high enough to make it back to the land and at least maybe give me a putt and uh, potentially get that birdie. Just gotta send it. Trust your stuff. Have the legs, just go! Wham. Jump. That's a death putt, that's fine, I like it. I don't want to do much more than that. Hole three is 300, 334 feet for the FPO. For us, it's just a wide hyzer that uh, fades towards the basket. You don't want to fade too much into the water and you don't want to pull it too right into the OB. Just a simple hyzer. Oh yeah, so high. That's OB. Dick, right there. That's OB. You gotta throw it 20 feet lower. 
Oh man, I got greedy. Try to get to it. Like a soft, like, uh, a soft run. Yeah, this tournament arm is good, you know. This <laughs> basket. You didn't even catch my putt. We're just gonna film your dog real quick. <laughs> just your dog. You're so cute. Ah, we're you cool to be. Oh, God. Special guest. <laughs> what? Oh, what? Oh, oh, what? Oh, oh, Look at you go. You're so fast. Jeez. Good job. Hole five is 555 feet. Uh, OB on the left side that actually curls in front of the basket, kind of creating a peninsula green. Uh, it's just throw it good and be good on the approach. A lot of players you're going to see if they're not in a good position, they'll lay up to circle two and take that circle two look to keep birdie in play. That's what I'm looking to do. I'm good. Okay. All right, this hole is 426 feet for us. If you can get past that really big tree in the middle, you're in a good spot for your approach uh, to a really tough green that we'll see here shortly. Mm -hmm. Nothing matters, but the sun. Hole six is 437 feet, same tee pad for MPO, FPO. You're just trying to throw most likely an Anheuser, maybe a forehand, I guess, if you have a massive power forehand up to the top of the hill. This really isn't very reachable for FPO. Uh, can MPO birdie it? Yeah. Yeah, MPO can get it. Um, 
But yeah, for, for us, we're just trying to get to the top of the hill and pitch into the green. No OB. I would hope Plenty good. All day. Uh, I lay down the roller. It's pretty easy to just kind of hit a more understable roller as hard as I possibly can and let it kind of get to the top of the hill. It kind of funnels down towards the green, so we're just trying to use that hillside to play the disc so we can hopefully get a birdie. That's not it. Oh, that might actually be it. I don't know. Peel, baby. That's fine. It's not weird out of my hand. But it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Going in there. Yeah, dude. Nice shot. Thanks. 60%. All right, let's each hear you do your best Yoda impression. <laughs> Try. Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Try not. Do or do not. There is no try. The best I got. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Hole 7, 484 feet par 4. Probably one of the hardest holes on the course just because of the ask off the tee. You really have to hit this gap. There's a lot of OB. If you go OB, you go to a drop zone that is a really difficult to save par from. So, basically hit the gap and trust that you're good enough to scramble from wherever you end up. It's a lot of uphill as you go towards the basket, so it makes it very, very difficult to play. I go with the forehand off the tee, make sure I hit the gap, put myself on the hill to try and get up and down. Seven is a lot easier for the FPO this year. It's 400 feet par four. Um, you're just trying to hit this first gap and land in that sun patch, kind of where Eric's disc is. I like to just throw a straight putter off the tee, and then a little more right is better. Oh, putter like butter. Yeah. That's fine. You want to be a little farther up. Yeah. Basket. 
Hole eight, 576 feet. It's a par five, but don't let the distance fool you. This is a very treacherous, very kind of left to right moving hole where you have to really kind of shape your shot and land in the fairway every time if you want to get that birdie. The MPO field will have the chance to eagle this hole and I definitely think it's there for the FPO field that's going to take some two really, really special shots. Um, the tunnel going into the green is a blind shot and it's really, really tight. So the closer you get off the tee or on your second shot, the better opportunity you have to navigate that green. I go with the flex forehand. but it's good. Conservative putter play. Yeah. And fun forehand play. Yeah. <laughs> so early. My cart in the way? No. Huh? Anything, destroy that tree. Yep. Hey, are you looking That's for what I said I was going to yeah. do. It's on this side. Right here. I knew once I had that just in my You're hand. You're good, you can come around. Right. This is it. That's fun. I like those shots. For birdie. For birdie. Damn. Yeah, dude, let's go. Woo! <laughs> hole nine is one of the shortest holes on the course at 258 feet. Uh, I like the forehand play to the green. It does slope sharply downhill. You can also throw like an Anheuser slow speed disc. Uh, I don't think there's any out of bounds on this hole, so I'm going to send the forehand. Are you good there? You want to move? That'll put. Long any, are gonna be long and right anyways. I haven't really figured out how to get the speed on this one dialed. That's always too straight. What about like a Justice Kaiser Blanc? Like on a high? I tried it. Every time I throw the Justice, it always ends up chunking. Mm -hmm. I always pull it. I do that every uh -huh. time. You stupid uh -huh. you idiot. God damn it. Thank you. 
Hole 10, 368. This is probably one of the hardest holes on the course. Both MPO and FPO are playing from the same tee pad. It's very uphill, it's very tight. You just gotta pick a disc you trust, hit the gap, and if you're, and you have to be ready to scramble. If you get a look at this one, you really wanna capitalize on it because this can actually gain you a lot of strokes on the field. what a stag does. Oh, it puts too much. And gets kicked perfectly in the middle. It's perfect. Congrats. Just a little more. Come on, come on. This pulls so hard. I don't know where I want to be throwing from. This gap. Ow! I mean, that's better. Oh, no, uh -huh. man. I get one more. Uh -oh. I just. Okay. And I have no idea. That was an evader. That was nice. Oh my god! Yeah. What's it up there? It's still fine. It's still fine. Still like uh, 60 40. Okay. I mean, like from the beginning. Oh, like it's just, yeah. It's hard for me to get these to push straight. I believe in you. Told you I believe in you. Let's go! That oh, was really good. Alright, okay, yeah. Come here. Get some, get some, get some. You're right, you're right. Ian tells me to harp all the time. Yeah. Oop! No chance. Juice! Poopy juice. Knock it over. Hole 11, 242 feet. Uh, just throw whatever you feel is your straightest disc. Whatever you feel confident hitting this gap to give yourself an opportunity to putt here is good. I tend to like a disc that will play through the gap and if anything likes to fade right. I feel like the right side is a little bit more forgiving, especially later in the hole. Um, but if you, get, if you have an opportunity, this is one that you really want to get. your momentum going at the basket. Here we go. Same tree. Yep. Same tree. <laughs> uh, just a bit shorter for us at 192 feet. I'm going straight putter back in. Nice. 
Tie right up to it. Yeah. Same people. Never! Basketball shot? Okay, <laughs> turn and it looks. Then he makes it look easy. Because it's more, it's, no, it's, uh, it's, no. So. <laughs> Feels weird! <laughs> yeah, let it roll off your, your index finger. Hole 12 is the same T pad for MPO, FPO, par 4, 644 feet. You're just trying to get down the tunnel. If you want to be aggressive, you can turn to the right with a sidearm or a backhand anhyzer, and then it's a really sharp hyzer onto a downsloped green. It's a really difficult birdie, but it's gettable. With that attitude, you're not. With the other yeah. attitude, you are. Let's see. It's the same way. Oh, that's a that's new a one. Stable turns this. Holy a, shit. It's a brand new one. I'm going to throw my beat in one. Yeah. That still might be far. I'm so yeah. strong. You're wicked strong. So strong. Those are fine though. All of those, yeah. Except for the one that's peeled left. Well, we don't talk about that. Good. That's not what we're that talking about. That didn't happen. What are you talking about? Pretty scar. I think it's too long. I'm gonna be pinched off, which is fine though. Hit the gap. Come on, right that tiny gap. Hit the baby gap. Little tiny gap. No! <laughs> Back in the fairway. Yeah. Oh, I made the first gap. Such a smock! God damn, man. Let's be good, dude. Come on. You're out here trying to actually be good, and you're throwing it like an absolute chump. Oh. Get your gap. Follow through. Oh, I got absolutely wrecked. Yeah, that's that's fine. Other option is really aggressive. That's never good. That's that's why we don't do that. That's really bad. This is a tough par save. You got to finish really hard left. Uh, more fade. Lots more fade. That's like circle two, maybe. Let me try one more. All right, hole 13, 472 feet. This is the KY gap. Uh, you know, there's no mandatories here. This is just the OB Creek that's through the middle and on the left side. 
pinches off to a very tight green playing as a par four. Uh, it's gonna score pretty close to that, but you will see some eagle looks if you happen to get a good shot that punches through. Um, hit the gap and be good. That's all there is to it. Coming in on 13. All right, suck it. Get everything going forward, bud. Too much scoop, but scoop. No, I hit that tree so often. Ah! I'm gonna try to flip it. Uh, Terry, if I make it, just pick the one that's good. for birdie after 12 drives. Fourteen is impossible. End preview. <laughs> it's a par four, 556 feet, and it's just a hard gap to hit. One of the hardest out here, I think. Um, the play, I think, is a forehand that ends to the right, and then it's a difficult tunnel shot all the way down with an OB creek right in front of the green. So, uh, scramble city, this hole. Wow. 
the one. That's great. I did it. That's a little crazy. Nice shot. <laughs> Great throw, too straight. Like good, it was. good speed, you know. Yeah, it was. What happened? That was fine. This is this is ground action for sure. down, right? True. Oh, you son of a... <laughs> Thank you. Hole 15, 487 feet, very big uphill, tight little bottleneck, kind of uh, probably about 150, 200 feet short of the pin. And you just gotta kind of climb the hill, hit the gap and give yourself a look. I'm going with the forehand off the tee, trying to keep myself in the center. Frustrated with your backhand, your forehand looks amazing. Oh. Hole 15 is 387 feet for us. Same as the men, just trying to get up the hill to the main gap, and it's a pretty easy forehand from there. I'm going backhand fairway, just in the center. Going with that tree. To the left, but it's fine. Let's try one more. A hot shot. A hot shot. Hot shot. Oh my god. Love that left side. I started so much better yesterday. So frustrating. This one I always. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Man, something. Great shot. Thank you. Stay on. Oh! Part's good. Part's good. Step in. Nice birdie. Birdie. Hole 16, 969 feet, par five. This is a doozy. Keep it in bounds and you have a chance to maybe even push for that eagle look. I'm definitely gonna rip a couple overstable discs, push them out over the OB and let them fade right back into the middle to give me an opportunity to score. Oh, is that what 
drought. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. That's perfect. Come on, please. Madison's supposed to be here, but, uh, nope. She said she wasn't playing on her, so uh -huh. uh -huh. So, that's my rest. Oh, well, that might be out. That's me. me. too. Alright, first one's one. Where are you going, Dis? Oh, that is so stupid. You're a coward. Turn, 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 turn. Dang it. Sorry, one more. One more. Ah! Dang it. I'm not gonna burn either. That's so bad. Fuck. Fuck. We're perfect. We're so good. Hole 17 is a change from last year. It's a par 3, 287 feet with an OB creek the whole way. You can go backhand or forehand to a kind of an island like green. I you can go ahead. Made it through. I know, it was really <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, drive everything forward. Don't go left. Get it going forward. That's good. Oh my god. You go in? Okay. So maybe it's a back hand. Perfect. I'm a genius. Better than everyone else's. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, 
So it's a backhand and a forehand? Oh, oh no. Nope. Alright, last one. It's safe though. Bail out. That's, that's money. I know. I think. Get it. Perfect. I thought it was dope. I'll bet you a dollar. <laughs> From hole 18, 650 feet, par four for the men, par five for the ladies. This is one of the hardest holes. I think it's probably one of the most fun to watch on U disc because it's you just see players doing some of the craziest things, and then when you get to actually see how they played it, you get to see some super super scramble stuff. This is all about keeping it straight. If you can be out the gap in two, you're gonna feel really good about yourself. I go with the putter off the tee, really trying to keep it nice and straight. And then after that, that's when I look to attack. If I'm not in the right place, I look to play it smart and make sure I get my par. Nailed it. Yeah, you're not gonna go with the jockey. You're just yeah, whatever, fine. I'm go. I, I, I just think go. you're going to hit him. I'm going to put her, too. I didn't even want to go. Yeah, obviously. No, it's fine. So you, you're fine. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, that's real harder than that. That's the ultra conservative play. <laughs> Laying up to lay up? Laying up to the lay up. Right speed, it just didn't hit the tight there. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> I'm finishing the round, so I'm good. That's a sign. I was so dead from playing football. Eric, you were right. I couldn't move it. I tried to throw a disc up there. It was like, shake, 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 shake. <laughs> I had no leg power at all. I'm in. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to play it for bogey. Oops! Oops! Oh, oh might not be able to lay up for bogey! Good oh, <laughs> score. Eric, I'm going to throw so many, you're just going to get in and be like, no, you get the dollar. <laughs> Just throw a side arm, you wouldn't even be there. Oh, 
Layout. Totally Layout. nailed it. Yep. That was a tough one. You have to like stretch out for it, huh? for joining us. Uh, got to see some hard shots, some scramble shots, some good shots out here at Idlewild. Uh, how do you feel about going in the course tomorrow? Uh, I'm excited. Just going to be confident and kind of let my game kind of happen because on this course, the, mo the moment you try and force it, it's going to bite you. A lot. Uh, thank you, Terry the Disc Golf Guy and Skybreed Disc. Hope you guys had fun watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.